welcome to this update video. I hope you're doing really great this morning. So we're going to have that increase in rainfall activity across parts of the Caribbean starting today. So we're getting straight into what is happening. As we look at the infrared satellite imagery, we can definitely see lots of thunderstorms within the vicinity of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, and uh, even near the Cayman Islands and Jamaica and uh, Cuba as well. So uh, late last night, there was that cluster of thunderstorms just offshore Jamaica, but that has been dissipating since. And as we look towards Northern South America, we can definitely see where all that activity is going on right now. Lots of showers, thunderstorms there. And that is the area we're definitely watching for that moisture coming up and uh, bringing that increased rain to the Caribbean. Zooming in here, we've got a better view of it. Uh, for some of the northeastern islands, such as Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, parts of the Lesser Antilles, much isn't going on this morning. Likewise, for sections of Central America, where there isn't anything too significant. But as I said, uh, down to Northern South America, within the vicinity of Colombia, we can see that blob forming right there. ABC Isles may be quite overcast with a few showers for some of you guys. You can let me know what you've been experiencing. And we're going to get into the forecast for today but before i do so question of the day so not really a question a statement here but it says where a river meets the sea is called a or an and there is a word so there is a word given to that place or that area where a river meets the sea or even the ocean save your answer you'll know if you're correct later down in the video now let's head to the rainfall forecast for today. So this is what the Euro model is showing. We can see these colorful shadings around the shades of oranges, reds for parts of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, Cuba, and especially Jamaica. We can see all of those red shadings popping up. So there could definitely be quite a bit of rain in some areas. There could be some heavy rain today that is enough to actually trigger flooding, especially as we head into the afternoon. So if you're in Jamaica, if you're going out today, Please ensure you have your umbrellas. If the kids are going out to school, ensure they have their umbrellas as well because uh, there could definitely be some heavy rain. Not a guarantee for the entirety of the island, but some areas most definitely will experience some downpours. Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, we can see that there is also some color around. Same thing for the Cayman Islands, although it's not as colorful, but there could certainly be some showers. Headed to the Virgin Islands, not as much rain expected today. A couple showers loitering for the Lesser Antilles, Anguilla, all the way through to Trinidad and Tobago. ABC Islands, much not expected. Maybe a passing shower at the most today. Northern South America, so for parts of Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana, there could be some heavy rain, especially for Colombia. We're seeing those purple shadings and pinks popping up. Rainfall amounts probably going up to three and a half, four inches within some areas. And then Panama, Costa Rica, headed towards the Pacific coast of Nicaragua, El Salvador, Guatemala, parts of Mexico. It could definitely be active as we head through today. A whole lot of rain not expected for the Bay Islands of Honduras, Ambergris Key, and the other keys offshore Belize and even Belize itself, and overall the Yucatan. So a whole lot of rainfall activity is not expected for that area. So uh, this is kind of the focus here today. So for parts of Southern Central America and Northern South America, there is going to be quite a bit of rain. And then for Jamaica, there could certainly be some heavy rain in areas today, which may be enough to, re uh, to result in flooding, especially in those low-lying areas. So please take the necessary precautions and should you encounter any floodwaters, please turn around, don't drown. As we head on to the wind forecast, here we can see it getting pretty colorful with these shades of blues popping up. So there could be winds uh, up to 25 knots or so within the vicinity of the ABC islands and gusts are likely to be stronger than that so even though it may be quite windy in parts of the east it's not going to be so uh, windy in the northern islands so for the areas that may not experience any significant rain today and it's really sunny it is likely to be a pretty hot day but again we've got uh, quite a bit of moisture within the vicinity of the northern Caribbean and uh, that's going to be the story throughout much of the week. Although there is some dust around so you guys may notice that it is a bit hazy so there is some Saharan dust still in the area and that is going to be dissipating as we head to the end of the week. 
Now, as we're going to be heading into the next couple of days, there are going to be other islands experiencing quite a bit of rainfall activity as a result of that uh, system. So, so let's take a look at what the icon model has to show. So this is for early tomorrow morning on Wednesday, the 22nd of May. There we can see all these green shadings around and they're indicating that moisture, the precipitation rate. So we can see all that in the Central Caribbean coming up. And then as we head to later tomorrow, going into the afternoon, evening hours, we can see a lot of moisture around for Jamaica, near the Cayman Islands, Cuba, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands as well, even going up to parts of the Bahamas, Antarctic and Caicos Islands. Then all of this starts to move out as we head into the end of the week. So Icon is not really expecting uh, anything much from this in terms of scene development. But as I've highlighted in yesterday's video, I am not concerned about development. I am seeing this as a rainfall uh, maker, something that could potentially unleash significant flooding. So it's not all about whether or not it's going to become a tropical cyclone. I mean, there is a possibility, but I think that chance is super low right now. I mean, nothing is even marked by the National Hurricane Center, but I don't think that we're really going to be seeing any sorts of uh, tropical development from this area here. But what will be there is a lot of rain. And with some of the thunderstorms and these uh, bursts of convection, what we could see is tropical storm-like conditions with a lot of thunder, lightning, those strong winds kicking up, a lot of heavy rain. So that is going to be a possibility with this. But I'm not uh, seeing that this system is actually going to be materializing into a tropical cyclone. I'm not concerned about that right now. I've been stressing the flooding. That is going to be the primary concern. And then, of course, as we head into tomorrow, go into Thursday, Friday, that flood chance is going to be on the rise for other areas such as Hispaniola. So there could definitely be some heavy rain around as well. Even for parts of Puerto Rico, there could be some heavy downpours as we're going to be heading into the latter part of the week. Now we're heading back to the question of the day. Let's take a look at it and if you got the answer correct. Where a river meets the sea is called a or an and the answer is an estuary. So an estuary is where a river meets the sea. It's that area and it's a body of water, of course. And I mean, there you would find what is called brackish water. It is a mixture of salt water coming from the ocean or the sea and also the fresh water from the river. So you would find a mixture of both right within that area. So you can let me know in the comments if you got the answer correct. But that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys in this update video. I really do hope that you found it to be very informative. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.